clean you really are? Do you really mean that you are clean? Are you really an authentically clean person? Life will test you. You claim to be a clean, clean person? Life will test you. She'll put you across a person who will test, who will be so dirty, and your, your claim of cleanliness will be tested. Then you will really know, are you really a clean person? Or you were just pretending to be a clean person? Or your, your rules were that you're a clean person? <coughs> See, having a rule that I'm a clean person is something else than being authentically clean. Uh -huh. <laughs> so then, so what will happen? You will be enlightened. But there are degrees of cleanliness, right? De then you will be enlightened. This person <laughs> will be so dirty, <laughs> it will, it will, enlighten you it, it, no it'll make me crazy no it will enlighten yeah. you to the fact that you, are you authentically <laughs> clean or you were just making a rule to be clean so it will bring such a deeper meaning to you to your life which basically maybe you never you know thought of but here but it shows up a lesson from a dirty person but, but what is a life-changing <laughs> lesson from a dirty dirty person <laughs> oh I mean, this is what life teaches you, and you have to learn. <laughs> if you don't want to learn, life is gonna, but, you're gonna live your one track life. But what if the dirty person keeps ma keep making my shirts dirty, and I need to get to work right now, but all my shirts are dirty every day. I clean them, I wash them, but she makes them dirty. <laughs> That's the liability. No, that is a test. <laughs> <laughs> is, there is a test whether you are authentically clean or you have just a rule that you are a clean person. Because if you are authentically clean, you will clean your own shirts. No matter how much dirty she I, makes I them. I am. I have to clean So what's the problem? There is no problem. <laughs> After I clean them, she makes them dirty. <laughs> so... No problem. You're a clean person, you clean them again. <laughs> but I have to get to work. I need a clean shirt right now. So that means at work I need to clean the I need to keep some clean clothes at work. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, get a get a wardrobe and <laughs> at your work. Why not? <laughs> People at work are gonna say Don't you love her? <laughs> People at work are going to say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Just tell them I love her. Tell them it's a... Uh, I do this for love. Man, that's... No, no, that that price is too high. See, that is what <laughs> is called... price for love is too high. This is what is called real love. You sacrifice who you are, your ego, your personality, your rules your but not your sanity, ideas right? not your sanity no even your sanity everything you have your you, health your, your health <laughs> whatever you think you have you have to sacrifice that's what love is then you will know the meaning of love when you're truly in love you don't give a about, damn about anything here honey everything is for you oh. take it here's a blank check cash it no problem. This is true love. You don't sort of say, oh, counting. Let me give you $200 instead of giving you $10,000. I just give up. No, you don't count anymore. You are in a state above and beyond this regular, everyday, mundane, stupid life. But she has to be beyond that too, right? Otherwise, she's going to take that blank Not check. Not necessarily, though. She's going to take that blank check. But you are in love. Go, go to Bahamas. That is more important than anything else. That's more important than her. It has nothing to do with her, actually. It has just has to do with you and your love. It has nothing to do with her. She can be a bitch. She can be a whore. But you love her, that is the only thing that matters. That's what love is. Jeez. That's hard, man. That's expensive love. Well, the price is very high. But love is, is, is something that... The cost-benefit analysis... Is something rare, you know?
in the cost benefit analysis that price is too high so you're thinking you know like an accountant here no so it has to about be a mutual meeting of the hearts you mm. cannot do it accounting about that you know it's like it's like doing the chores you know doing the chores is mutual doing the chores so it doesn't mean a shit man <laughs> do all the chores <laughs> don't let her do anything you do all the chores and she yeah, will yeah. one day she will say have her sit like a princess yeah she she's gonna get used to that and become lazy no no problem you love her that's the key you will do anything for her don't you remember when you were in love what was your state mm -hmm. of mind try to try to revisit that state of mind I, I didn't do chores for her but you revisit the state of mind wouldn't you do anything for her anything if, if she was sick I would do the chores for her no, you revisit the time when you were in love. Uh -huh. Revisit. I, I, okay. I'm, stay I'm, there. I'm there. <laughs> stay there for half an hour and oh, go she... through, go through all the things that you would do without objection. Re remember the first girl you fell in love with. But but w and how you will do anything for her. But but that ended right. That ended. So well, something well, there, something did, didn't work. Everything has an end. We are going to die. So that's not going to be an end. So, but that means... There's a beginning, there's an end. Th that means in that relationship, there was certain amount of energy, emotions invested and expended. And <clears throat> a lot of times, it uh, it's at the end a negative experience. Okay, let me ask you There's this question. Positive Would you rather had that relationship or in your life or now at the after 10 for 20 years? What do you think? Were you better off having that relationship in your life or you're better off not having that stupid girlfriend? Better off not having. Better off not having. Because the, the cost was too high. It's uh, you know, It could be emotional abuse. It could be... Um, you know, the cost is high, the person can be a huge liability. But see, you have to keep persisting. You have to keep, this is the key to life, persistence. You keep hammering away until you find that person that you really want to live with. You have to keep hammering away. You cannot say, okay, the price is too high and fuck it, you know, I'm not gonna waste my time with these stupid women. You have to keep hammering away every day, over and over, until this angel <laughs> appears at your door. I'm here, honey. I, I think I'm, I, I just heard the doorbell. <laughs> this, this is what you've been waiting for. I'm here at all yours. What's the quality of my search? Yeah. What is the quality of my search? See, you, you got the idea about the quality now. So, apply it with everything and you will be in, in about one month, you will be a totally different person. A completely different person. Write it down right now. Write it down, I'm this, this and this. And write, after one month, are you the same person? You will be surprised. You will be completely different. 